here we have a CRO. Uh, and it's detecting this wave. It's a, it's a machine. Uh. You can see that the screen, this pattern will form from your microphone that you send to this. So time-based is a setting that we use in CRO to zoom in or zoom out horizontally. What is the frequency of the sound wave though? So time-based setting, you're going to take, you look at the hint, uh, time divided by a length. The length comes from the size of these boxes. So maybe what we can do is try to find, oh, frequency. Uh. We try to find how many cm is one cycle. It's going to be one, two, three, four. So four cm for one cycle related to period. Uh. Let me let's find the T first. So for one period, we say it's four cm. But period is supposed to be in terms of time. So we need to multiply by time-based setting. So I read 4 cm on the screen. How much is that in uh, uh, millisecond? 1.0 millisecond over cm. You know why I do this? Because then cm, cm cancel out. So I can find, oh, this is just 4.0 millisecond. Ah. So if on the screen I see 4 cm, that means it's 4 millisecond based on how zoomed in I am on my graph. All right, sounds good. Now we can find our frequency. Frequency is 1 over t. So 1 over 4 times 10 negative 3. We should get 250 hertz. The best choice, A. All right, so that's how we can read CRO. Make sure you know what a time-based setting does. It adjusts how much one box represents. One box is one millisecond based on this.